Hey everybody, it's Liz. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a uh, project share using some items that I got from BB Craft. If you are not familiar with bbcraft.com, I will leave the link down below. You guys can go check it out. But they have this huge, huge selection of all kinds of crafty goodies, a lot of jewelry findings, rhinestones, packaging, um, you name it, it's there. Uh, you will be completely overwhelmed at first because there's so many good things. But anyway, they were nice enough to send me a package, so check out my haul. Um, I did a haul a couple, I think like a week ago. I'll leave the link down below so you guys can take a look at some of the items that they sent me. And today's project, um, I used uh, the boxes that I chose from their um, website. And let me show you really quick if you did not see my haul video. So these are just some craft boxes and you get 24 in a pack. That's a really great price, a really great deal. These are a very good size and I thought these would be really fun to work with. They also come with the twine uh, that you can of course tie around the box, tie bows, use it any way that you like. And they also come with these tiny little craft tags. So these are really cute. They already have the little hole punched in. Of course you can put the twine through it and have a cute little tag. So that is what I used for my project. Now let me share with you what I created. So basically I thought those boxes would be perfect to uh, use for packaging favors, goodies, um, embellishments, all sorts of good stuff to send to your crafty friends and swaps and racks and things like that. So I found different ways that we can decorate them. So the first box that I created is this one right here and I think it turned out really cute. So I decided to stamp on this and basically what I did is I took some of my little stamps I bought. Um, I had picked up a ton of those little Maggie Home stamps. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with them because a lot of this, a lot of them, um, a lot of us pick them up at Tuesday morning. So I thought these would be great size. You can use any stamp that you want, of course. And so what I did for this one, I went ahead and stamped the cute little bow and I just laid the, the box flat and I'll do a little quick tutorial at the end just to, you know, kind of show you what I did. So I just stamped all over the box. And then for this one, I also did some splattering so you can see some of the black acrylic paint throughout the entire box. And I thought it would be a great little thing to add like a little, um, uh, oh gosh, a belly band. So I used the bloom paper from Maggie Holmes, of course, and I cut out a strip and uh, then I adhered my twine to that. And then I just thought I'd do like a little top um, decoration. So these are all just some scallop oval dies from my stash that I layered on top of one another. And then I used a couple of ephemera bits, added some sequins to the centers of the flowers. Um, I just cut out a little couple fishtail banners with crepe paper and then some pattern paper. And this is just a little ephemera piece from the collection. And then here I used some rhinestones. And these rhinestones I also picked up or got from uh, BB Crafts. And they were a huge pack of 24 rhinestones, if you're familiar with these from my haul. But they come in a variety of colors. This is such a great buy. I want to say for the 24 pack, it ends up being like maybe like 60 cents each or something like that. It was very inexpensive. Such a great deal because you have every color imaginable and in different sizes. So that's one way that you can use the cute little bling pieces just as accents, you know? So that's that. And so this, like I mentioned earlier, it is a belly band. It slides right off. And just gotta be careful. I didn't make it too loose, but not too snug, you know what I mean? So I need both hands to do that. And then here's the box, really good size. You open it up and you can add like, you know, crinkle shred, candy, all kinds of goodies inside. So this is a really, great size box. So that's one way that you can decorate it. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, the other thing that I did is for this one, I just did stamping and this is a lot of fun. This is the one that I'll kind of share with you at the end. So I absolutely love the way this one turned out because it's so simple, but just, it's so pretty. The white um, ink on the craft just makes it look so, almost like elegant, you know what I mean? It's very cute. It can also be like a little bit um, farmhouse-y, you know what I mean? There's a lot of different things that you can do with these boxes. That's why I really love them. And so for this one, again, I just used a different type of ink. Um, for this one in particular, I used the Hero Arts and this unicorn 
color. It works really well, you guys, because this is a pigment ink, so it's gonna show up on darker cardstock, and that's what I love about it. So just look how pretty. I just stamped all over it, and for this one, I kept it simple and just basically tied a bow using some ribbon from my stash. Uh, not a bow, but one of those, um, I, th I forgot what they're called, but they're like bow knots or something like that. I don't know, I'm not very good with bows, but I tied that up. I used uh, some Baker's twine in a coordinating color. I kind of wanted to just stick with the pinks. And then I used one of the little tassels that I also got from BB Craft. They have a huge pack of them. And this is what I picked out and they come in all the colors that you can imagine. So I added a cute little tassel there. Here is that little tag. I just stamp on the end of the tag and then I also stamped a sentiment here. You're the best. And then here are some more that bling, the little rhinestones. And it just makes for a really cute little package. And this would be great again, filled with candy and embellishments, small embellishments that you wanna to send to your swap partners and craft friends. So it's a really neat size. Okay, and then the other thing that you can also do with this box is fill, uh, cover it with paper like I did here. And this one turned out very cute as well. I used the Splendor uh, by My Mind's Eye, really beautiful collection. You guys are all familiar with it, I'm sure, by now. I just, you know, cut out the pieces of patterned paper. I used my sewing machine to stitch along the edges. I really like the stitch look. Really, really cute. Take a look. And the whole thing is covered with paper, as you can see here. And then I just embellished the top of it. I used a piece of gold organza for my stash. They come from, you know, like the ribbon, not the ribbon, but the tool spools. I just cut out a little piece and adhered it to the background. I'm hoping you're able to see some of that glitter. And I created a uh, rosette using that same paper. I've got a little scallop circle on top of that and then a scallop circle of tool on top of that. I've got some cute little uh, flourishes tucked behind the rosette. This is an ephemera piece from the collection and I stamped on it with the same stamp set from the Splendor collection. This is also an ephemera piece popped up on foam as well as this cute little bee. And it's a very simple way to decorate the top of the box. And then I just added a couple of sequin bits. Of course, you can add the bling, whatever you want to do. Uh, it turned out really cute, I love it. And of course, it's popped up on a ton of foam tape, as you can see down here at the bottom. And then I just added a cute little bow for my stash to the, um, the front. And that's it, and so you open it up, and let me, this one I did fill with some embellishments just so you can see the kind of thing that fits in there. Oops, I just gotta be careful. When you do um, add paper, it does add some more thickness, so you have to be, just be a little careful opening that up. So here, uh, what I did is I just packaged some cute good little crepe paper rosettes. I think a box is a great way to send rosettes because that way they don't get flattened when you mail them, you know what I mean, by other things that you may want to add. So I just added, you know, a bunch of these little crepe paper rosettes that I created. And you can fit quite a bit. These are the mini ones. And I think I could fit like nine or 10. And I just have some crinkled paper down at the bottom. But I think this is a really great way to send, you know, the rosettes or any embellishments that you're afraid are gonna get smashed or flattened during shipping. So boxes are a great way to do that. So it's just a really cute packaging idea. Hopefully you enjoy it. And now let me share with you really quick, just a short tutorial on how, uh, you know, you can assemble it. It's very, very easy. So I have this one here that I've already started and I just stamped all over it again using some small stamps for my stash. For this one I added a cute little deer and stamped a sentiment and then I've got florals all throughout. You can kind of just create like random patterns with your stamps, you know what I mean? That's all there's to it. There's not much. Now up here I think I want to add a little bit more. So I'm going to take that same uh, ink that I shared earlier and then my tiny little stamp. And I'm just gonna add, you know, just stamp a little bit over here. And again, you can like do any pattern that you like, you know what I mean? But I absolutely love the way the white ink looks on the craft, it is so pretty. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy that as well. So I'm just gonna stamp on there really quick. All right, and now of course you have to do wait, you know, you have to wait for that to dry, but for the video's sake, I'm just gonna kind of assemble this together. What you wanna do, is you do wanna, um, there's already crease marks on there, so just kinda like fold them over, you know what I mean? So that you can get that uh, crisp um, edge or whatever. And then all you have to do is, here are the flaps. 
you just bring these two in like so and then that one goes in like that and then this little flappy thing just gets tucked in right in here okay so there's the bottom of course you can you know do it without bending but I bent mine <laughs> but it's all good because it's at the bottom you're not able to see it so then here's your box right fill it with your crinkle paper fill it with whatever you like bring these in like so and I'm gonna try not to touch that ink because I know it's still wet all right but there you go cute little box look how adorable that little deer looks i love this one so much really really cute and then just top it up with some ribbon you can create a belly band just a topper on top you know whatever you want so these are a great way again to send packaging uh, i mean a great package idea for like all your embellishments and little candy favors and things like that so hopefully you enjoy my video give me a thumbs up if you liked it and go check out bbcraft.com i'll leave the link down below as well as the link to these boxes so you guys will not be disappointed these are great 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 size so thank you so much for watching and leave me a comment down below i always love to hear what you think about my projects and i'll be seeing you real soon bye guys